Now, a great example here. Very easy to attack whoever currently has control of the Mega and whoever is going for mm -hmm. it. So it makes those kind of ambushes very uh, multifaceted, and it makes the gameplay much more interesting than it would otherwise be, and, you know, if the Mega was in some place a little more secure. Well, and, and uh, I guess the only thing I would add to that is uh, don't hate the yellow armor. <laughs> I oh, mean, yeah. it, it may not be red, but you still got to control it just as well as uh, any any red armor. And I would even go as far as to say, uh, you better be controlling two in addition to Mega if you really want to win this thing. Um, doing anything else is a death sentence. Nice. Nice face rocket there, and with that follow-up with the shotgun. Very impressive play coming out of Dewey tonight. Yeah, and now Demon's saying... This is where I give it the ghost. you end and I begin. Stop invading my personal space. <laughs> you're you're poking my bubble, buddy. All right, with one minute left to go. With Dewey sitting at 24. And Demon sitting at one. I believe his reign is coming to a close. Dewey gonna steal that crown, but we have quite a nice roster. Potential challengers, Dewey. Eating a lot of LG here. And oh, oh, 17 health. And Demon cannot get it done. 26. There it is. 26 to 2. Demon with yeah, the at frag the that he's lost. Board. What was that? Yeah, looking at the spectators on board on the server right now, Dewey's door number two is going to be pretty uh, impressive at this point. So. Nice one for Dewey. Let's hope he can keep it. <laughs> and that'll wind <laughs> that down. 28 yep. to 2 is the final score. 27% and best weapon of rocket launcher for Dewey. Lightning gun in Demon's hand by the mere 19%. And um, I believe the lowland lions will have to skulk away. And uh, we've got Spongle. Spongle. I like that. Spongle. 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 Sorry. Right, we're going to do that for about 10 there. minutes now, oh. everybody. <laughs> oh, he hopped out. There we go. There's Sparksy Sparks. Oh, Sparks. Ready. Prepare to fight. Sparks is ready. Dewey's ready. And here it comes a bit of Furious Heights. Three. Now, uh, we saw Sparks. Sparks definitely played this uh, quite well throughout the ESL qualifier number four. And uh, surprisingly, even though this is really his house, um, challengers kept picking it. I mean, they had the opportunity to toss this map out. Uh, the only person that was able to beat Sparks on this map, I want to say, was Cliffy. Well, hopefully we're gonna be able to see uh, Dewey do a bit of damage here. And right now, Sparks is on top of, on top of the rocket launcher spawn there, just having uh, taken quite a bit of damage from Dewey. And here comes the Mega. Dewey looking wow, to grab it, and he gets it. Wow, yeah, he is. He didn't land any of those. So yeah, Sparks needing to warm up. Uh, this is actually a typical thing from Sparks, although usually he's not this off. Um, there it is. There's one. There's two. Okay. All right. But he's still hurting for armor. We don't have any resources coming up for another five seconds. And Dewey's the one that's ready to grab him. There's one. And, uh, of course, the other armor is over by the red armor. The other yellow, nice rather, is over by the red armor. Nice rocket out of Dewey there. And, and good, here good idea by Dewey. Sparks. And he's gonna make both grabs. Yeah, S Sparks would have died had he gone running out there after that red. So, uh, good choice. But now, of course, he needs to play the evasion game for about 30 seconds, and here comes Dewey. Landing not one, but two rails there, and he's gonna be finishing up with the rocket. Very solid Great. frag from Dewey. Yeah. He had that one padded out. Yeah, guys, yeah, once Sparks again, if you, can, if you can do us a favor and let people know we're using our backup stream tonight, uh, that would be a huge help. You can tell them to go to the live page and click on backup stream. All right, Sparks, looking to get 
first fire. I'm going to hop over to Dewey's point of view because he did indeed burn first blood, has the height advantage in this situation, and is able to steal away the red. That's a quick and easy frag. Oh. Great timing by Dewey. Very nice here. And again, it looks like we might have a little bit of the caster's jinx coming out of you there, Grease, because you were saying that nobody was able to take Sparks down, really, and right now we're seeing Dewey Not doing... Dewey. Uh, well, he's only two frags ahead here. And, uh, it's it's, only, know, it's only two minutes right. in. Sparks is just warming up. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I, I would love for this thing to maybe go into overtime. I'd love to see these two players go into overtime on oh, this yeah. map. But, I mean, I've, I've seen Sparks too many times to oh. know that, you know... He will probably turn this thing around in the next two minutes. We should see him slow things down. We'll see his rail start hitting. And then... All right, well, I'm going to be looking oh, for wow. that. But right now, I, what I'm seeing mm. is Dewey pulling out a hell of a lot of damage here. Yeah, I would love very nice weapon switch-ups. I'd love to be proven wrong. Yeah, I would love to have more than, like, one person able to take down Sparks in this map because he might actually choose another one. <laughs> We're going to force him to learn another map. No, I'm just joking. Actually, Sparks is uh, quite accomplished on, on every map. Uh, including Tier There one. it is. It gets on the board. <laughs> well, there yeah, we including, go. Now, this could be... Including Tier 1. The point... Yeah, this could be the point that we've been looking for. Sparks grabbing the red armor. Now he's going to be lo looking to do some damage to Dewey as that Mega Health is a nice pop-off there. Dewey does get the grab. Now, there's some LG... Hitting quite a bit of it there, but right now Sparks is down to 43-41. Red coming up here in about three more seconds. He's dropped down a little bit early. They're going to be soaking up some splash damage from Dewey. Dewey comes in with, with the steal. Sparks is down to 28 health, and Dewey's down to 34 himself. He's going to be grabbing this 50, which is going to help out a bit. But Sparks grabbing that yellow. I don't know. This could still yeah. be... that We're, we're at a point where it's still very... Yeah, but the key thing there... Dewey is maintaining the height advantage for those red crabs. Sparks is way early with his moves to red, and um, although he's hitting a lot of rails here, but uh, those early moves to red really gives Dewey an advantage because he can see when the red armor spawns. On the other hand, Sparks is having his uh, view turned up and away from the spawn, trying to stay out of sight of Dewey and also dodge rocks at the same time. It's not working out for him, so I think you know, Sparks gonna switch up the um Ooh, wow, Ow. great dead on. Beautiful rocket. And Sparks can switch up the uh, height advantage, which actually that's exactly what we just saw. Dewey was down below. Sparks had the height advantage. And uh, look who came out on top. Now Sparks took a little bit of that of that rocket splash there, but Dewey soaking up a rail. He's down in he made the grab for the mega, so he's still above one hundred for now we have the play coming in for the red. We still have five seconds and Sparks is gonna get it by way of the frag. And we're looking at a one point game here now. Yeah, Dewey on the recovery, and here's the thing, no resources for another five seconds after that yellow. So Dewey should actually leave oh, this. Nice LG for Sparks. I I don't agree with this. Play oh, by he missed that one. Yeah, oh. he actually should have left the room. He honestly, um, you know, maybe, maybe try to steal the mega, but that's that's sort of the obvious play. I think Dewey needed to do something not obvious, like go get the red armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> That would be something that, that, you know, Dewey is in a point now where he's thinking, okay, this has been working, and he's just getting to the point where it's like, okay, now Sparks is pulling something new out of his hat, so I need to be doing the same thing. But hopefully he realizes that before too much time goes away, because we're looking at four minutes left. Sparks taking the lead. There it is at six minutes and 18 seconds. And there's Sparks down below with the Mega. And he's looking for Dewey to, uh, to do it and make the grab, but Sparks is going to have plenty of time to make it. Get that nice rocket there. And closing in with the finish with the shotgun. Now, what the hell is going on here? What's Dewey got to do? Well, oh. apparently spam, spam nades for, uh, for Sparks uh, is what he needs to do there. Picking up another frag. But Dewey was nowhere near that Mega when it spawned. Um, didn't really have any angles to try to knock off the stack from Sparks. And uh, he's, just, he's lost the timing, frankly. Sparks has it. And... Um, we know that Dewey won't be coming back to this room. Uh oh, oh, I lied. Sparks does not oh. have. 
he's going for the frag instead. 